Para ellos en el mundo, pero no son de traje un kit Elevado tengo el kit, suelto furia tras el mic Me vuelvo atrás de mí, sospechosa la falta de Galatín Amazing, this car, another excellent buy. seems to be great there's only one downside and that downside is the fact that it has no air conditioning man today was the hottest that it's been southeast is also grappling with a blistering heat wave today surely broke a record we saw on the car today 42 degrees ah, I'm melting. the man looking at me while i'm recording hello Taking the 350Z to called Corumban Air Conditioning. Easy as that. Corumban Air Conditioning, what they're gonna do is they're gonna regas the aircon for us. Not. Unfortunately, the aircon has a leak. Yesterday I called nine people and uh, the prices started at 180 and then the cheapest that I found was 145. Don't just stop at one, just keep going until you find the cheapest one, 145 makes a profit margin higher. Drop a comment if you are interested in my process to finding these cars, because there are definitely tons of them around. So we're going great. We made it like 30 meters. And then the clutch pedal just literally fell into itself and what that looks like to me is that it has no clutch fluid in it. Hopefully I can make it now. It's only five minutes down the road. Hopefully they have some fluid there. I've said hopefully like 5,000 times now, but it's actually my grandma's favorite word in Greek. It is magari, magari. That's... <laughs> okay, it's coming back right when I turn it on. Okay, it seems to be all right. Hopefully we get there. Great news, I've just dropped it off and it's fine. Nah. I've just left the air conditioning place and unfortunately the aircon has a leak. So it's not as easy as just regassing it. <sighs> These things happen, you get hiccups, what are you gonna do? You guys have to fix them and then continue moving forward. I'm actually going now to get my tools or get some tools. Uh, I have to pull off the air intake. Then the aircon hose is just underneath the air intake. That's what he said. And then I've got to take the hose to a place in Molendina, which will then fix the crack or the split or whatever it is. And then I have to put the hose back on and then I can go and regas it. So. The journey for some air conditioning is still underway. It's so hot, it's like 33 I think today. Alrighty, so now we're here, where we've got the tools. What I've come to find out is this has to be removed, this has to be removed, this has to be removed, that has to be removed, and then I can get to the hard line. I've changed my mind on this whole situation right now. Ah, oh, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm going to put it back together and leave it for a professional. Originally, I thought I was going to fix it, but it looks like it's just a seal and I don't have the tools. I've called a friend of mine, Zico. I've mentioned him in other videos. Um, he's then referred me to their air conditioning mechanics in, in, in Asheville. Better. Sorry about that again. That Jake Cole, my mate. They're in Asheville, so I'm actually going to drive to Asheville now. A bit of a chore because it's a bit of traffic and hopefully they can just get it fixed, do a cash job, see you later, in out. George doesn't have to get his hands even more dirty than they were. So I'll bring you with that. I've gone to the air conditioning guy, Elliot. Excellent guy, very nice, very kind. Went there and we've diagnosed that it's the main hose for the aircon. Someone unbeknownst to me. I know words that has somehow uh, 
not done a very good job of using a grinder. And they've hit the aircon line. The aircon is just all the juice out. Two things, either replace the aircon line completely with a brand new one, like from Nissan, or option two is, uh, or actually there's three options. Option two is uh, buy one from the wreckers, and then option three is get one made. So there are three options. I'm gonna just wait in here back until I hear about the, the price of the brand new one, and then go from there, but we will get it fixed. Probably gonna cost like three or four hundred dollars, but we'll see what happens. So thank you, and I will see you when I get an update. Slave cylinder replaced as well. Ended up costing seven hundred bucks. Not bad, considering the price that we purchased the car for. Got it all fixed. The car's feeling amazing now. It goes into gear great. The clutch doesn't feel like it's five hundred and seventy kilos. And yeah, it's it's excellent. Now that the car was all finished, you have to take it for a drive. It's a convertible, it's a sports car, it goes fast, it likes turny mountain roads. So I decided to take it for a cruise up the mountains. It doesn't even have coilovers and it still handles like it's on rails. That's really why I love the 350Z model. Obviously I had to do a proper shakedown, so drop this in. A good part of an hour and a half cleaning, detailing the car, making sure it absolutely looks spick and span ready for sale. We want to sell them. So you have to make sure they look good on the inside, on the outside. The presentation has to be top notch. Interior, exterior, cleaned it, cleaned the engine. Um, tire shine, always tire shine is like a game changer. It just seems to make everything look like brand new. I'll go list it for sale now, see what happens. I think this is a this was a winner this card. Give it a bit of a rev up. Then just hold it about three quarters. So and then hit third, then just flat it, it'll just spin. Whoa. Wow. 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 It's a sunny, sunny day here on the beautiful Gold Coast. Mm, look at that. We have a buyer coming. I can't believe it. It's been about a week and... I put it for sale on Friday last week, so it's been one week. It's Friday this week. <laughs> Fingers crossed, in the next half an hour, we sell this weapon. I can't believe it. It's been a great car. I, I personally love 350Zs. I just... Have a soft spot, I'm gonna just drop a video in here. Bang, this is my old 350. I used to drift the shizen out of it. Loved it. Showed the car to Sam, I believe his name was, and he loved it. The He wants to bring his dad, his dad's a mechanic, so fair enough. We did a bit of a negotiation. I think we're about at 15,000, but he loved it. It's, it's gonna be his second car. He's been on his, he's been on his P's, just got off. He's been driving a Lancer this whole time, so it is like world apart, world's difference. Sam came back. His dad loved the car, thought it was in excellent condition mechanically, even body-wise. It suits you, bro. Yeah. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Sold the car to Sam and he absolutely loved it a little bit nervous driving it because it was his first time driving such a powerful car after driving a lancer around on his peas but nonetheless i'm sure he is absolutely enjoying the car come with me on the next episode because i have an exciting adventure ahead
Elevado tengo el ki, suelto furia tras el mic Me pongo atrás de mí, sospechosa la falla de Baladín Astuto cual mandarín, abordamos un cariño La calle sabe la sombra y reconoce que el perfil Somos la cremila